Check in with Chris Rapsky. He's live in Phoenix with a special report on this for us. Good morning, Chris. Hey, good morning, Faye. You know, the big players in the mural game across the country, you think of Los Angeles, San Francisco, uh, Philadelphia certainly has beautiful murals. But look at these. Phoenix is coming into the game. They're growing into this mural culture. So we wanted to go behind the scenes and take a look at the spray paint culture that is Phoenix. Under cover of night, often into the early morning sun. It's the only time that I can say in my life that I have zero thought. They paint. The medium is aerosol, but I consider it more just public art. By way of spray. When you pick up a spray can, everything is in reverse. Or touch of brush, the bricks. I'm gonna dust it a little bit and dust his shirt. The tiles. It's, it's a tribute to family, right? It's a tribute to the neighborhoods. Their canvas. Uh, I'm Thomas Marcus, downtown Phoenix. This is Lalacota. Meet the veterans. I'm Sequoia. The new guy. I'm Marty Moreno, and I'm a muralist. The legend. Most of them started by tagging. Was a snot-nosed tagger kid at one point. The police were called. I'll say just unsanctioned work. Fortunately, I did not get in trouble. Those hard-to-read scribbles scarring neighborhoods across the city. There's good graffiti, right? And, and there's bad graffiti, I guess. Once founded on destruction. Tagging is more the scribbling and just vandalizing and destruction of property. Mural art is now a common method to deter graffiti. It really revitalizes downtown. You know, people used to graffiti or tag and all that but then all of a sudden you have a beautiful piece of art and these graffiti individuals respect art it's the street code the unwritten rules of the game sort of no better not to go over something that's a large-scale piece that's maybe done with a higher quality than what they're doing not all pieces are immune, though. This mural was tagged, dubbed by some street artists, as a copy of a prominent San Franciscan artist, a charge this artist denies. It sucks because I spent a lot of time working on it, but it happens. But for the most part, murals work to reduce graffiti, tell a story, and inspire youth. I see a lot of younger guys dealing with business owners, asking for permission, funding to paint these murals, and I think that's great. You've got to embrace your community, so it's got to reflect their concerns, their, their uh, history, their culture. And the foundation of graffiti... Signature. ...is still there, no longer a blemish, but rather punctuation on a modern-day Metro masterpiece. Nice job, man. So one of the guys in that piece, Lalo Cato, uh, did this mural here, and it looks like one thing from wide, out, wide away, but come closer and you could see the detail in this thing. I mean, look at the bumpers on the cars. This is the desert landscape here. You have the red and the yellow uh, that symbolizes the, the Arizona state flag. And then if you look at the Phoenix skyline here, this is something, sig a signature of theirs. They actually put cacti on the top of the buildings in the skyline, which is a, you know, a very Phoenix thing here representing the desert. So very, very cool stuff. If you get a chance to see these murals, get a closer look and, and see what you can really get out of them. But hey, we want to know what you think about your favorite mural in Phoenix. So on our Facebook page, we've posted four pictures of murals that we think are uh, pretty impressive, and we like to know what you think. So just click like on uh, the, the picture that you happen to like. I believe the Jesus Saves one right now has the most likes. It's in the middle on the bottom there. But uh, I think the Angels Trumpet Ale House is incredible. If you go by 2nd Street in Fillmore, that thing is so bold and so beautiful. Um, and it, frankly, it's the reason why we, wa we wanted to look into this and do this piece. So just really cool stuff, Faye. Absolutely. Oh, my goodness. And when we pull the camera out a little wider like we are now, you really get a sense of the scale of the art out there. All right, Chris, thank you very much. Interesting stuff.